Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the functions and deficiency manifestations of vitamin E. Okay. So the main function. So what I said, vitamin A means healthy vision. Vitamin D means healthy bone metabolism. At the same time, like calcium homeostasis. Vitamin E means antioxidant function. That means to fighting with the free radicals. So the main thing about vitamin E is it is a most powerful natural antioxidant. So it will be popularly uh, known for free radical scavenging so indirectly it protecting the cell membranes and it is protecting the peroxidation of LDL from oxidation and it is protecting the double bonds in polyunsaturated fatty acids and prevention of rancidity. Rancidity is nothing but unpleasant development of unpleasant odor and uh, smell and taste of fatty acid. Okay so this will be prevented by adding vitamin E. So if you see any oils okay sunflower oil, peanut oil or some other oils if you see the composition back of their uh, like uh, description they will say vitamin E enriched because this vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant this not only benefiting is our health but also it is uh, acting as a preventer what to say uh, like what to say it prevent the oil from the spoilage or deterioration okay and it always I mean like sometimes uh, it will be work in conjugation with selenium selenium is a mineral okay so selenium is also nowadays popularly knowing as antioxidant okay selenocysteine is one of the amino acid it is also known for its antioxidant uh, properties okay so you see here how it will be uh, when PUFA in coming in contact with uh, hydroxyl groups okay these are the free radicals so they accept the hydrogen from the PUFA and convert them one radical deficient okay so it will be PUFA so again it will be activating next PUFA so it is like chain reaction so like this you all know almost all cells cell membrane is made up of polyans I mean phospholipids phospholipids are nothing but uh, an association with fatty acids that fatty acids are PUFA polyunsaturated fatty acid so as they start getting infected with the one of the free radical and it's a chain reaction so it is a continuous process almost all the polyunsaturated fatty acid present over the cell membrane will be affected so it makes the weak cell membrane so this weak cell membrane can be lysed at any time so that means premature death of the premature death of the cell so to prevent that the chain breaker is vitamin E okay the vitamin E will involve itself in the chain reaction and breaks the chain reaction and converts PUFA into normal PUFA convert PUFA radical into normal PUFA okay and vitamin E converted to vitamin E radical you see here so this is the peroxide radical when vitamin E is come in contact it uh, it donates its hydrogen okay it's donates its hydrogen to lone pair of electron radical and convert them into a uh, paired radical okay so now this is lipid hydroperoxide so it is not a free radical okay it doesn't have any effect so now it will become vitamin E radical now again it will be regenerated by accepting hydrogen from any other sources so this way vitamin E giving or like uh, breaking the chain reaction chain of events in the free radical scavenging I mean like free radical activity so you see here I'm showing one of the example damaged phospholipid this is cell membrane so for any cell to survival it should have a proper rigid cell membrane if cell membrane is weak subcellular organelles will not stay inside and the cell may lyse at any time and all the contents will come out cell lysis leads to cell death so you see here the damaged free radical already free radical is there and it start uh, working with the PUFA polyunsaturated free radicals and weakening the cell membrane okay so when vitamin E comes into the action okay it ming mingles up with the free radical okay it prevents the peroxidation of PUFA and neutralizes the free radical so now free radical will be harmless so other functions so RBC is also made up of cell membrane so it protects the RBCs from hemolysis structural and functional integrity of all cells slowing down the aging process so that's what if you want to be look younger or if you want to slow down our aging process you sh your food should be like uh, inclusive of vitamin E enriched food okay and it boosts immune response and reduces the risk of atherosclerosis that means it prevents the oxidation of LDL whenever uh, like in the arterioles this LDL accumulates means it may undergo that means cholesterol oxidation so this vitamin E go and clears the LDL from the circulation by preventing the oxidation 
and it depresses the leukocyte uh, i mean like depressed leukocyte oxidative bacteriocidal activity it stabilizes reactions or situations that typically produce free radicals and required for proper hair growth okay so that's why vitamin e is otherwise known as beauty vitamin along with biotin so if you want to like be handsome or beautiful so you you should use the products which are rich of vitamin e and biotin so it is preserves and maintains the germinal epithelium of gonads so that's what so it is anti sterility vitamin because it maintains the germinal epithelium of gonads okay so reproductive organs so that's why it prevents the sterility in animals so required for cellular respiration optimal absorption of amino acids also depends on the vitamin e and proper storage of creatine in skeletal muscles so these are all other functions of vitamin e so vitamin e from source to destination you see here from plant source to animal source from small intestine from chylomicron it will reaching in the liver and to reaching to the peripheral tissues what are all the function it prevents the damage of the cell membrane so it prevents the lung collapsing it prevents the damage of dna it prevents atherosclerosis so indirectly heart attacks and it prevents and means it maintains a healthy epithelium of other cells along with vitamin a so other tissues also it looks healthy or normal so deficiency manifestations it is very rare in humans because we used to be consume lot of oils so all oils are rich of vitamin e so the major symptoms in case if you are having a vitamin e deficiency that is hemolytic anemia so it increase red blood cell fragility retrolental fibroplasia so in premature babies you can see this okay and muscular weakness and creatinuria because the storage of creatinine is maintained by vitamin e so if vitamin e is not not there creatinine will be not storing in the muscles it will be simply excreting in the urine so hypervitaminosis it uh, severe symptoms not seen in humans tendency of hemorrhage and neurological symptoms are the characteristics of hypervitaminosis so the ultimate quote for this vitamin e is vitamin e in search of a disease okay it can cure almost all the diseases so that's why vitamin e in search of a disease so that's all about vitamin e thanks for the listening thank you